Okay, before I start this Let's Play, I'm just going to do this ahead of time for now. Some things you should know is that this game is rated M for Mature, and the reasons were blood and gore, crude humor, intense violence, sexual themes, and strong language. This game is obviously for the Wii, as you can see all the things about the Wii. The game's called No More Heroes. I said I'd do a Let's Play of it eventually. I probably won't show the overworld map more than once, if ever, because I hate it, and there's no real reason to... It's just making money. It's kind of like a really lame Grand Theft Auto ripoff when you're on the overworld. But the actual gameplay is what I'm here to show, not the sucky overworld map that I hate, which is just you collecting money for the next stage. Oh, as it said, um, crude humor or whatever the hell it said, um... Yeah, strong language, yeah. There's definitely strong language in this game. We're going to go to the highest difficulty level I have, which is bitter. I haven't played this mode yet, but apparently I keep all the stuff I had from my old mode, so that's kind of cool. I'll let you see the trailer. The trailer's pretty good, and the trailer actually doesn't have swearing, although the beginning of the game will start swearing very fast. And it likes the F word. The voice acting in this game is very nice. I like the voice acting. There's no sound right now. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. Because that's what Fish of the Dude at the video store said. So I'm at the register, then I realized I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, she smelled good. So being the gentleman I am, I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was. This guy reminds me of Dante. Well dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain all shit. Yeah, so he sighed fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Thought it'd be, or at least it was supposed to be, until she showed up. Her name? Sylvia Crystal, an agent with his watch McCall Association. Congratulations. You are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and in for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's going to be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you there holding the Wii remote right now, just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin. There's a few times this game makes fun of itself, especially at the end of the game. I love the end of the game. I showed you the last fight, but that was a mild, which was the highest difficulty I had at the time. It was also my first playthrough. I don't know why they put that swear there. That's one of the worst place ones in the game. But other than that, let's get with the game. <laughs> Help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? <laughs> Bad answer. <laughs> it's game time. Okay. Press the A button to unleash, unsheath your beam katana. Basically a lightsaber. Especially this one. Um, swing your sword and hit the A button. I'll explain this as I go through. Because there's a lot of stuff to explain. Yeah, um, A button swings your sword. Um, whether you're pointing the Wiimote high or low depends on if you're doing a high attack or a low attack. Depending on how the enemy's guarding, depends on how you want to fight. Um, the B button is a beat attack, which is with your foot or your hand. You can do wrestling moves with the Wiimote. Finishing blows once they have low health. You've already seen two of them. It'll tell you a direction. Like that. You do it, and it kills them. 
You stun an enemy, you can do a wrestling move to kill them. Oh, you bastard. I didn't even know you were there. Uh, the directions will be the four cardinal directions. The first level's pretty damn long. Um, at the right, right below that high-low thing that I'm blinking right now, you'll see that bar. By pressing the one button and shaking the Wiimote, I can charge that bar. That bar signifies how much energy is in my beam katana. If it runs out, I cannot use my beam katana to block or attack, which is really horrible. Don't ever let that happen in a big fight. You will get so screwed if you're being mobbed. I've had it happen before. There's basically nothing you can do about it if it happens. Um, that tiger at the top, well, I'll get into that when that happens. Um, the thing on the left, the left top, is my heart, that's my health. Pretty self-explanatory. It's health. Um, bottom left is the mini-map. Okay, that slot machine that keeps showing up every time I do a death technique. That has the possibility of entering dark side mode. When you enter dark side mode, you become incredibly powerful. And it's just ridiculous. I thought that's what that tiger's for. There will be, when the tiger starts moving, you've entered dark side mode. And, yeah, look, dark side mode. This one makes the enemies go really slow. When the tiger reaches that goal, my dark side mode will end, as you just saw. Hey, look, cherries again. This move is just simply called cherry. I think that was all of them, though. Yeah, it was. I'll skip the door opening scene. Um, I'd like to get to the first checkpoint. Let's see. I always kind of get lost in this first level. I don't know why. But, um, anything else gameplay-wise I need to explain? Um, Z button, camera, C button, also camera. Hey, get over here! Ow! Oh, when you hit an enemy, at the same time an enemy hits you, you'll go into a sword flash, where you have to spin the Wiimote. I think it's always clockwise, but it might choose. Um, and if you win, you knock the enemy back and get to do a finishing blow, or just a hurting blow if they can't be killed in one hit, like that. If you knock an enemy down, you can one hit kill them, with your A button. Um, I think the majority of the info... Ah! Good! I can go back to the beginning of the level and go to the main path. I think that's down here. Um, is there anything else I need to explain? Oh, while locked onto an enemy with the V button, you will block any attack as long as you're not attacking. Okay, the grasshoppers are a lot like the cherry, except for it also has the thing where I instantly put them into a death mode, so I can kill them however I want instantly. So it's quite a bit more powerful. Ah, uh, take that, I hate the lightsaber enemy, and I had dark side mode when he showed up. Nice. Well, that's the first checkpoint of the game, so I'll cut this episode off right here. I'll see y'all next time as I continue